Yo, welcome back once again to my channel. You're joined with your boy Liam McGill. I hope you've been good. Hope you've been having a great week. And I hope you've been smashing those goals and along the way picking up some fresh kicks. Well, this week we have another sneaker review. And the sneaker that we are going to be reviewing is the Union Jordan brand Desert Moss. Before we dive into this shoe, please if you can leave us a like but also subscribe down right around there to our channel so that you can get a notification of when I drop some videos on YouTube. Before we dive into the actual sneaker, as we do, let's have a look at a bit of history around Union and also its collab with Jordan Brandon. The Union is a retailer store that comes out of New York City and first opened its doors in 1989. Its aspects around the store was to bring different cultures, different art, different music and also different fashions from around the world and to bring them into one place where Americans can buy products from that were different to obviously everyone else that was around them. Well from that they actually did amazing and in 1991 they moved their, their store over to LA where we find UN slash LA located on the sneakers and their collaborations. And from there it has been 30 years since they have been open and to celebrate the 30 years they dropped a few sneakers including the Desert Moss uh, Colla uh, collaboration that they did with Jordan brand and also a, a whole bunch of other collaborations with other brands out there. Think into a bit of a uh, union and its collaborations that it's had over the years with Jordan brand. Yes, we all know Union for its Air Jordan One, which it's it's which was its very first release with Jordan brand and man was it a release tell me about different materials a different way to spike up uh, the Jordan one with that stitching on the uh, uppers which made it look so different that it was two different shoes combined into one like but yeah it did drop in two different colorways if you didn't know it dropped in the black toe but it also dropped in the storm blue my favorite is the storm blue uh, but I think it's just a bit different and pops a little little bit more than the black toe does. Second collaboration that Union had with Jordan brand was uh, seen on a Jordan 4 and the two colorways that they dropped there was the Nior, I hope I pronounced that right, and also the Guava Ice. Well from the Jordan 1 uh, release moving into the Jordan 4 I was kind of upset when the uh, the photos were leaked of their second collaboration just because of how strong of an impact Union make but also just how crazy the Jordan 1 was uh, then moving into the Jordan 4 giving us colorways that maybe didn't work so well but then over time it grew on me and I really fell in love with the guava ice I'm not so much much of a fan of the New York colorway honestly I think not that great at all um, but the guava ice just hits I think for me it's the pink um, and also that cream that just uh, works so well with that yellow midsole now we've moved into its third collaboration where they've released the desert moss 
and also the taupe haze that released with this pair now before we look at that shoe when those photos were released of this third collaboration i was kind of I guess bummed that they were doing another Jordan 4. I was hoping for something a little bit different and it got a little bit worse when I saw the photos leaked of the colorways that Jordan brand was about to release. When I first saw the Desert Moss and the Topaz, I saw the Desert Moss and I was like, man, that's so whack. That looks like a yellow mustard, but having it in hand, it actually looks oh, a little bit better. And I think I now favoritize this pair over the Topaz. Well, let, let's dive now into the actual shoe. And just like anything, before we dive into the shoe, let's have a look at the box. Well, the box is the same box that we will see that was released uh, in with the first collaboration that they had with Jordan Brand. Here we noticed that yellow lid with also Michael Jordan shoe going for that shot with Union and that white writing. Moving to the side of the box, we have the sizing there. And then when we open the box, it actually has a bit different and is not your ordinary uh, box and has a photo of Michael Jordan signing some autographs. Looking at the shoe, one thing that I love about Union and its collab with Jordan Brand on the Un on the 4 uh, is the features that it brings that we didn't see in the Jordan 1. Carries is the heel tap. The heel tap does have the Nike Air and it doesn't have that Jordan. And here on the Desert Moss, it has the turquoise uh, blue tab with the light purple Nike Air logo on it. Uh, another thing that I liked about this one was that it had the translucent wings. Uh, then you had the netting not only on the medial side, but also up along the tongue. And then the major thing that I loved about the Jordan 4 when it released was this idea of the folded tongue. There was a lot of controversy around the folded tongue, but I love the idea that you could actually stitch this off and then reveal the Union logo. Um, a lot of people aren't so keen because they want to keep it in that condition um, to be able to resell later, but I love what uh, Chris Gibbs and Jordan Brand have done here with folding that tongue um, and hiding away that Union gem. Um, another feature that I love with this shoe is the turquoise air unit here in the midsole. Also, it has, well, something real small. Um, I believe that this colorway was meant to represent LA, um, but they, this, this color here is not really yellow. It's kind of like not yellow um but another feature that it has is the union oh not too sure if you can see that that union um and then looking at the sole we have that turquoise uh on the balls of your feet and also that yellow that pops with again that light purple looking at the overall material of this shoe when my first when i first opened the shoe unfortunately this isn't mine so shout out to cody who let me borrow his shoe to do a review on this uh, the materials actually are crazy super thick suede and is super buttery like oh, it's pretty good um but also something that I also haven't seen before on a Jordan 4 was this mesh. This mesh uh, here on the up that runs right through the shoe and also into the heel. Uh, and then you go into the insole having this grey sock liner. Uh, and then the shoe is also provided um, with some taupe haze looking laces. Uh, and then you have the, uh, I guess they're called the tabs. <laughs> but anyway, um, my over my thoughts about the shoe when I first saw it, as you as I said, it was not really catching my eye because of how this yellow was looking online. But having it in hand, it does have a different look. The materials are crazy, and I would say I would I would want to pick up this shoe. Um, and from having it in hand, I definitely stick to my word of having this one over the taupe haze. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, I can't give you an inside look into the shoe because it is a size 10 and unfortunately, your boy is a size 12. So that's all we got for this week's video. Go cop yourself a pair of Desert Moss if you can or if you want to. I believe resale prices are pretty up there, but I reckon that the shoe is worth it. And if you're kind of on the edge um, on it, I would say cop 
because I might do it myself as well. Um, but there it is once again another sneaker review. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please once again give us a subscribe, check a like into this uh, video and we'll see you next week with another review. Peace.